YouTube, welcome, welcome back to another video. And today I have something very special for you guys. If you could take a look at my screen right now, I have a very clean and um, cartoony inventory UI frame. This right here was made by our designer, Soren Key. Check out his Twitter down below in the description. The best part is he was kind enough to let us have this for free. So if you want to download this, frame and use it for your own game your own designs feel free to do so link will be down below or head over to gfxcomma.com it's right on the screen it's very simple let me just go through what's inside and then i'm gonna show you guys how you can export and uh use them for roblox let's go ahead and check out uh first of all here's the x button right i'm gonna zoom in i'm gonna show you guys uh reposition actually save that Okay, so here's the X button. Here is the text and the little image, the button itself. Uh, these groups, these groups, this is the equip button. I'm just gonna title it. Just gonna name it equip text. And here is the button itself. There is the preview box. I'm gonna call it preview box. Right there, right single, right single. This is the outline. Our side frame. This is the frame's background. And here is the main frame. This right here is the main outline. This is uh, shoulders, aka. Can I spell? Okay. It's green, so make that green. Here we see pets. Make this blue. This right here is the smaller outline the title scroll bar right here boxes and this is the main frame background all right um you guys can change the color of anything you want so let's say you want the scroll bar right here you can double click change the color just like that it's very simple now if you want to change the color of of the buttons right here you're gonna wanna go to your button, right? All right, you see how the button, it has text. The best way to change the color is, okay, if you want to change your text, change it now. Let's say you want something like, I don't know. You choose a font, first of all. Let's say you want it to say bye, right? So here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna copy this group, right? So hit Control J. All right, you're gonna hide the previous, you right click the new one and hit Convert to Smart Object. All right, now you wanna hit Control U on your keyboard. And by simply dragging this slider, you can change the color, as simple as that. And uh, if you wanna go back, obviously you can hide this, bring this back, change the text. And uh, the reason for doing that is because, okay, usually you would just do it for the background, control U, change the color, but as you can see, he has a text with a uh, color outline. So you gotta include the text along with it. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can properly export this so you can actually use it in your game. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to decide what is interchangeable and what it's not. So what I mean by that is, um, let's say, this title bar, right? So the title, we take everything off here, except for the title right here, right? This is what you want to export by itself. Okay, so you wanna take the title and you wanna right click and go to quick export as PNG. So right here, we're gonna name it title, we hit save. And as you guys can see, once you export this, it will be perfectly uh, sprited to the layer so there's no extra space you know what i mean so let's talk about the other elements um scroll bar what you want to do for the scroll bar this is going to be different because you want to export this the back part and the actual scroll things separately right so right click a uh, quick export boom those two now for the mainframe you want to export the mainframe by itself as an entire group so right click and quick export 
Uh, you could arguably export the mainframe and the title as well as one thing. Go ahead. Now for the boxes, what you want to do is you want to remove, you want to remove the text. You don't want the text, and you can right click the group, quick export, and it will export this entire group without the text. You turn off scroll bar boxes. You could just export the entire thing like this for the background because this is an image frame this could this is basically just one image because it's just a background there's no moving parts there's no buttons here right so the buttons you want these separate strollers you right click export this separately um if you want a custom font for example okay for example um let's say this font you're going to have to export each button manually every single time whereas if you take off the text and you just export the blank button you can use robot studio um, text and that'll be much quicker for developing but if you want a custom font you're gonna have to manually uh, export every single time so side frame is pretty much the same thing you want to export this whole thing with the align so I would put the alignment in with the frame, right click export, preview box, take off the sex, equip button, which I changed to buy, but you get the point. And the X button, right click export. So that's how you would export. Now you're gonna ask, well, how do I import to Studio? There are a ton of tutorials online. We'll just go more in depth, but but basically you want to import your images as decals and uh, use that for your GUI um, if you guys want a more in-depth export and, and importing tutorial where I actually go ahead and put it into studio and now uh, yeah make sure you guys cop this template it's completely free go ahead and check it out With that being said make sure you guys like subscribe make sure you guys like comment subscribe check out more of our videos and products as well if you're interested, you can also join our Discord. Link is in the description down below. With that being said, I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace.